Good morning, CHS. Today is Friday, February 12th. Today is also an A-Day. If you would like, please stand for the virtual Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. GNN is back in action with a new episode airing every Friday. We would love to share any of your sports, club, or other announcements that you have for us. If you do want us to announce something for you, please make sure that you submit all announcements by Monday at 10 a.m. so that we can air them the following Friday. If you do want to submit an announcement, you can submit them at gnn at claytonschools.net. JSU or Jewish Student Union meets every Tuesday from 7 to 7.30 p.m. on Zoom. If you are interested in joining JSU, please contact Mr. Rochester, Ms. Falkoff, Joey Sparks, or Natalie Schubert for more information. And if you are interested in joining JSU and you want to know more about it, you can always go to their Instagram page at ClaytonJSU where you can find Zoom information, find out who's in the group and who you can talk to about getting into the group, and other things that can be very important. Please remember that you do not have to be Jewish to join and that JSU accepts and wants everyone to join. And after today's announcements are finished, make sure you stay tuned for a special video produced by Faris and Paul. That is all for this morning's announcements, and now we move on to Eli to talk about the latest in CHS sports. Thanks, Saba. It was a big week in pro sports as Tom Brady won his seventh Super Bowl, most by any NFL quarterback, and the Cardinals signed Yachty for one more year. On a local front, the Clayton Greyhounds winter sports teams are wrapping up the regular seasons and headed into playoffs. Be sure to cheer them on at chsgreyhounds underscore on Instagram. Happy birthday to all of those who celebrated earlier this week. Gracia Benjamin, Jiley Deck, Joel Ireland, Keaton Kubat, Scott McCary, Emma Rain, Ryan Rossini, John Smith, Chloe Wolf, and GNN's own On May Deck and Liv Tennell. And now we go to Nima for some comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey kids! Um, I almost forgot. Alright, um, just a minute. Alright, uh, hey, what do you call an astronaut on the moon? Or, uh, sorry, I messed it up. Duh. Oh, yeah, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere! <laughs> oh, you get it? <laughs> There's, there's no, there's no atmosphere on the moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now, here's a special video produced by Ferris and Paul. I'm sure you've all heard about the GameStop situation, but do you really know what happened? First, we should talk about what a stock is. A stock is all the shares of a company into which ownership of the company is divided. A share represents a fractional ownership of the company in relation to all of the shares. The terms stock and shares are used interchangeably. There are big corporations called hedge funds that take clients' money and put them towards assets, such as stocks. The tactic they used in this incident was short selling, which is when they predict a stock share price is going to go down when it still has some value and is at a higher price. They then ask for shares with the promise of returning them, and when they get the shares, they sell them at the highest point that they are at. And then when the stock value drops, they buy it back at a lower price. For example, 
Let's say you have a company and the price for one share is $100. And if these hedge funds think that the price will go down, they will ask for the shares of the company, promising to return them. When they buy it from the victim, it's $100. Then when the price drops to say 50, they only have to buy it back for half the price and give back a share that is essentially worth half of the original. This is what they decided to do on the company called GameStop, which if you didn't know already, is a popular video game company. Some people on an app called Reddit decided to put a stop to this. And they didn't do it for no reason. They wanted to do this because the stocks didn't allow normal citizens to use this tactic, but only the richer people with a better reputation and like the stock community could do it. The tactic they used was stock boosting. They bought a lot of shares in GameStop causing the stock to go from around $20 to around $300. That was the peak. This made it so the prices on it go up, causing the scammers to have pay a greater amount of money back than they actually bought for the stock for. Scammers bought thousands of shares, ending in a huge loss of money. 